hello, hello, hello. Me disculpo porque lo dejé solos un ratito, pero se fue la luz y se fue el internet. Me quedé, me salí y menos mal que ustedes estaban en las salas eh, pequeñas, porque como estaban en las salas pequeñas, no se dieron cuenta. <risa> No, se preocupe, me apareció un listado de, con todos, todos los grupos. De verdad, lo dejó a usted de administrador. Ah, ok, bueno, si Carlos hubiera podido, hubiera saltado entre los grupos viendo lo que yo, lo que yo veo, lo que están haciendo. Me apareció el listado, ok. <ríe> sí, Ah, sí. por eso Carlos se, se, se puso de, ¿cómo se llama? Se puso de incógnito, nos dejó un ratito ahí, fuiste a ver la sala, Carlos. <ríe> Fue Carlos. Quedó de No, no, quizá por accidente. <risa> Ah, bueno. ok, no, it's ok eh, Pero pasó, ya pasó Por lo menos yo dije, ay no, este módulo Lo he hecho perfecto, no he tenido ningún Fallo de electricidad, ni de internet Ni nada, no he cancelado Clase, y de repente se va la luz y yo Yo creo que hasta los vecinos Oyeron cuando le dije, no hombre <ríe> Porque se pusieron A reír <ríe> Porque yo sabe que Sabe que estoy trabajando a esta hora Yes, I know I'm working at this time. So very good. Well, it's good. Ahora estamos bien. We're all good now. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Voy a hacer questions. I'm going to make questions and you're going to tell me how the sentence is in order. Number two, Henry, please. Henry. Sorry, miss. Uh, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Wouldn't be better to revise Monday before printing. Yes, excellent. Good job. Thanks. Okay. Uh, but Henry, choose the next participant, please. Um, Silvia Patricia. Silvia Patricia. Okay. Thank you, Henry. Silvia Patricia, number three, please. It would be good if we change the dress code. Okay. Thank you, Silvia. It will be good if we change the dress code. Silvia, choose the next participant, please. Um, Eric Giovanni. Okay, Eric Giovanni. Number four, please. Thank you, Silvia. Uh, good evening. Good evening. To have a would be it. Ready? You can lose me. El number four sería. Lo primero es it, ¿verdad? ¿No lo tiene Eric? Bien, 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 bien. Ahorita. It would be good idea to have a training manual for chef. Thank you, Eric. It will be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. Eric, choose an next participant, please. Um, Lizette. Okay, Lizette. Thank you, Eric. Lizette, number five, please. Okay, number five. Wouldn't it be better designed to left the manager? Ooh, okay. Casi, almost good. Pero nos faltó un errorcito que después del wouldn't it be better, but it wouldn't be better decide to let the manager, me dijo, ¿verdad? No. Sería primero el infinitive. Eso sería, wouldn't it be better? No, 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 no. Wouldn't it be better? Y después el infinitive, después de better. ¿Cuál es el infinitive? Les expliqué. ¿Dónde iba el qué con un verbo? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? 
To let. Dígalo. Wouldn't it be better to left? Decide to... No, 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 no. Mira, está todo junto, está todo junto, está todo junto. Dígalo. Ok. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Excellent. That's it. Excellent. Good job. Yes. You know, that's, that's, that's very, very, very good. Y I'm sorry. Eh, les pido disculpas si en algunos momentos pues yo les digo, no, 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 reconstruyan no, diga tal cosa es porque yo como docente no les puedo decir la respuesta okay. <ríe> no les puedo decir, se dice así ¿verdad? <ríe> tengo que dejarles que ustedes investiguen y ustedes lo encuentren pero les pido disculpas porque aquí en la casa intenté enseñarle inglés a mi esposo ¿ok? y saben que se enoja conmigo cuando yo le digo no, pero es que la respuesta, ajá, no, no es esa, pero pensalo. Si se dice en el futuro, entonces se dice con, y me dice, decime pues. ¿Puedo enseñarle? Uno no puede, uno no puede enseñarle a alguien con quien vive. No, <ríe> porque se enojan, right? They get mad. Pero nosotros, aquí con los alumnos, sí es como, lleguen a la respuesta, lleguen. No se las puedo dar, I'm gonna give you. Pero sí sé que puede ser un poquito frustrante. Así que I'm sorry about it pero ahí te podemos ir armándolo, porque ya saben que después del better podemos usar el infinitive, right? We can use the infinitive form. That's why. Okay? Okay, let's continue. Now we're going to do another activity. And the next activity we're going to do is to give a strong advice about learning English. Okay? So for example, I'm going to say it will be a good idea to speak only English in class, right? It will be a good idea to speak only in English in class. Sigamos que ustedes me dicen, it will be a good idea to, díganme una buena idea. Tell me about English, learning English. It will be a good idea to, nadie tiene un consejo. Practice. It would be a good idea to practice what? Practice every day. To practice? Every day. Okay. <laughs> it would be a good idea to practice every day. Okay. Excellent. That's another one. Okay. So what another, I want you... Another Oscar? Another uh, good idea is uh, dream, dream in, in, in English. Dream in English? Yeah. Okay, well, that's something we cannot control, <laughs> no. but no, it can happen, it can happen. I don't yes. know, I don't know. Miren, uno a veces sueña con lo último que piensa. ¿No les ha pasado? <clears throat> has happened to you? Like, ya soñáramos en inglés, digo piensa? yo. No, but I did. Yo les, si les he contado que yo soñaba en inglés, ¿verdad? It's frustrating, so don't, don't, don't no, no deseen eso. Yo no le deseo el mal a mis, a mis amigos, mucho menos a mis enemigos, a nadie. Okay, so I, I don't wish that for you. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're going to give advices, but using the structures we have learned, okay? For example, we're going to use would be better to give advice, okay, about learning English. Pero también quiero que me hagan oraciones con esto. I also, ah, uh, give me a second. We can also give this. Would you prefer to speak in English or in French? Or wouldn't it be better to practice more English or to speak more English? Wouldn't it be better to speak more English? It will be good if we practice speaking every day. Okay? So I want you to give me advices with all these structures. At least try to make five advices, okay? At least five, five advices, but try to follow the structure. Subject will be better, or would you prefer, or this ones, and then the infinitive form, okay? The infinitive form is very important in this case. Do you get the activity we're going to do in this moment? Or wouldn't it be better if I explain that in Spanish? 
it will be a good idea if you understand in English. Okay, that's better. That will be better. Okay, let's go. Let me see. Yo tengo que ser muy sabia a la hora de crear estos grupos. I have to be very wise. Very, very wise. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Um, I understand uh, I am writing the example using would you prefer wouldn't it be better to for example writing okay okay Blanca Miss uh, we have to we have to just practice or no, have to... you have to make examples and advice okay. to learn English. Okay. At least five, ad five advices. Okay. At least five advices on how to learn English. Um, and... Ella se llamaba. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're making advices and writing advices to learn English, right? Right? Hello, Miss. Hello. 
So we are writing five advices to learn English using this structure. And we are doing so in group. We are not doing individually. We are doing that in a group. Speaking with the classmates and practicing with the classmates, okay? Okay, miss. Studying. Would you prefer to study, to study during the day? Okay. <laughs> question mark. Question mark, right? Hello, everybody is participating in this break room? Yes. Okay. It would be better if we, if you study, it would be better if you, well, if you study if more, we more, English, more English. English every day. It will be a good idea to take the English classes. It, it will be better, better if you study, study more English every day. Every day. Voy a corregir solo unas cositas. Wouldn't it be okay. better if we practice English every day? Suena mejor que to speak English. Y también English tiene que ser con capital letter, mayúscula al inicio, ¿ok? English. Okay. Y English. practice sin la D al final. Practice sin la D al final. Wouldn't it be better if we practice English every day? It will be a good idea to take the English classes. Yeah. It will be better if you study more English every day. Esa S every day. la eliminamos. Y también ponemos capital letter in English en los dos casos, ¿ok? Yeah, y en practice, we, uh, D. practice lo eliminamos de la letter D, yes. Pero si, si yo quiero decir, si practicáramos, no tiene que llevar la D, no. No, en this case, no. Ok.
Hello, Mayra. Hello, Miss. ¿Se acaba de conectar? Yes. Ok. Eh, entonces, sus compañeros ahorita están dando advices to learn English, ok? Ok. Using this structure here, ok? Ok. Ok. Hello, so please be ready to share your advices with the class, okay? In two minutes, we come back and you're going to share the advices with the class. Vamos a compartir los consejos con la clase in two minutes.
Okay, welcome back everyone. So you're gonna share your advices with us today. Okay, let's see. The first person, the first team, I mean a group to share the advices will be the group number one. Ana Veronica, Blanca, Carlos, Clelia, Eric, Henry, Jose, Alfredo, and Julio Guillón. Okay. Whenever you're okay. ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, number one, it would be better to practice English with native people. It will be better to learn English by speaking. It would be better to do the homework of time. Okay. Uh, would you prefer to learn English online or presential? Wouldn't it be better to learn English online? Okay, so the two last ones seem kind of the same, right? Well, uh, yeah, they are very similar. Okay, um, listen, English. English, the first letter is always capital, okay? The first example is good. Well, the second example, English. But the other ones need the E in a capital letter, okay? Okay. English, we always need capital letter at the beginning of English. Or, okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone. That was good. Thank you very much for your participation. Now I'm going to let Henry choose. Henry, will you, will, it will be better if we go with the group number two or number three? Number three. You will say it will be better. Ah, sorry, sorry. It will be better to go with the uh, group number three. Excellent, Henry. Good. Number three. Let's go. Jonathan, Jocelyn, Oseas, Ramiro, Silvia, and Veronica. Excellent. Number one, wouldn't it be better if we practice English every day? Number two, it would be a good idea to take the English class. Okay, number three, it will be better if you study more English every day. Number four, wouldn't it be better if we do the homework every day after the class? Number five. Wouldn't it be better to get up early? early? To study English? <laughs> better to get up early to study English? Yeah? What? what? It will be better if you study more English every day. No, no, no. The number five. Wouldn't it be better to get up ah, early yeah. to yeah. study English? <laughs> Yeah, study English. Oh, okay, <laughs> because remember, we're giving the advices to study English. And the number five, I was like, mm, is it related with English? <laughs> okay, okay. Would it be better to get up early to study English? Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Give them an applause. Excellent. That was good. So now, no question asked. It's obviously... That we're going with the group number two so please um let's see eric eric jacobo Dennis, johnny maria oscar rene and rafael go ahead oh my god Okay, another expression to provide suggestions to question or alternatives. Vamos a leer dos cada uno. Would you prefer to study during the day? Wouldn't it be better to make the report today morning? 
Wouldn't it be better create good health instead of taking medication? Would you prefer to the supermarket in the afternoon? Wouldn't it be better if Maria went to the meeting? Wouldn't it be better to make the report today morning? Okay. Would you prefer eat chicken at lunch? And would you prefer eat avocado with egg? Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's go up there, please. Okay, uh, number two, uh, you missed, no, number three, you missed the infinitive. Wouldn't it be better to create? To create. To create. Okay. Now, the comment that I have about this, ya saben lo que le voy a decir, ¿verdad? No. No? I don't know. No? Yes. Yes, Eric. ¿Qué será, Eric? What is I it? don't know with the future. Be because someone uh, sentence or uh, it isn't about English. Aha! There we go, Eric. Excellent. So the sentences are not about learning English. Right? I it's... got it at the end. <laughs> you got it at the end. Okay, okay, it's okay. Well, the sentences are good sentences with grammatical structure. They are fine, they are good. But remember that we were making sentences or suggestions, strong advice on how to learn English, okay? But besides that, aparte de eso, good job, okay? Excellent, everyone. Thank you very much for your participation. Remember, if you don't understand when I explain, you can ask me again. I can do it all again. Yes, I can do it for sure. Okay, let's go now with the platform because I know some students want me to go through the exercise in the platform. Okay, so we're going to do that today. Esperando que si estamos trabajando de verdad en la platform, ¿verdad? You're working on the platform. Yes, yes, you are. Okay. Acá tenemos el primero. Here we have the first one, okay? The number one. The person handling payments in a restaurant. Who is in charge of payments in a restaurant? What do you think? Cashier. Cashier. Cashier, Cashier. okay. A person in charge of creating menus Managing kitchen staff and food standards. Executive chef, server, hostess, kitchen manager, kitchen. or cashier. What do you think is the answer? Kitchen manager. Kitchen manager? Okay. A person who hires staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Executive kitchen chef. Executive kitchen chef. Kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. Number three. A person who hires kitchen, staff. Kitchen manager. Well, vamos a ver. Because aquí arriba también me kitchen manager. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. Server. 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 A person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them. Host. Okay. Host. Host or hostess. Aha, yes, we made a mistake. So this one will be executive chef and this one will be kitchen manager, okay? Yeah. Let's see. So number one, cashier. 
cashier is the person handling payments in a restaurant. A person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards, that is the executive chef, executive chef. A person who hires staff, purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained, kitchen manager. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink, server. A person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them, host or hostess. Let's go with number two. Don't use the best or the goodest schedules as a reward. Hmm, these are some superlatives. These are superlatives. What do you think is correct? The best or the goodest? The best. The best. Don't use the best. Don't use the best schedules as a reward. <coughs> Jen is the fastest. 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 The fastest. Fastest. What's it? The fastest or fastest? The fastest. The fastest. Delivery orders are the most popular okay. or the more popular right now. Most or more? It's the mm. most. The most popular. The most popular. This restaurant has the prettiest or the most pretty decorations. The prettiest pretty. or the most pretty? The prettiest. The prettiest. Look, the superlatives, they have similar rules to the comparatives, okay? Very similar. The kitchen manager works the longest or longest shifts? Longer. The longer. longest. Okay, good. We have it. The best, the fastest, the most popular, the prettiest, the longest. Let's go with the next one. El mañana reviso estas notas, and I hope you're doing good. Or no, no, Friday, Friday. The bartender, that bottle of wine without permission, should not have to... <laughs> Could not have taken. What do you think? One, two, or three? The bartender. Sure. Should not. Should not have taken. Should not have taken. The servers. You. Should have asked the cashier should, should not have taken. I should, I should have called. Okay, should not have taken, would have been, should have asked. Should not have taken, should have called. Me muero por explicar ese tema. This is a very, very good topic. Like supposition, like like something that is was, but it isn't. Como no hubiera, yo hubiera, tú no hubieras, no deberías haber hecho. That's the way someone acts. That is reason, behavior, theft, wage, or spooky. Behavior. Behavior. The action of crime of stealing. Richard behavior, theft, wage, or spooky. Yeah. Theft. Yeah. Next one. The amount of money paid to an employee. Richard behavior, wage. Something that causes fear or nervousness is? Spooky. Spooky. 
the, to remove someone's doubts and fears. Reassure. 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 Okay. Behavior. Theft. Wage. Spooky. Reassure. Let's go with the last one. We have in more older, older, more older, older, more older, older. Her illness is more serious or the most serious? More serious. More serious. I like warm weather. If the weather is more cold or colder? Colder. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, miss. Hello? Yes, what is the meaning illness? It's the same as sickness. <laughs> it is it's the same. Uh, illness is, for example, um, diabetes. Illness is the flu. Illness oh. is uh, all related with medical conditions. Okay, okay. Got it? I got it, got it. Okay, thanks. Perfect. Okay. Let's continue. This dress is more beautiful or most beautiful than that one? More beautiful. More Making beautiful. a comparison, right? Yeah. Five. He is more rich or richer than Arthur? Richer. Richer, richer because we only have two syllables. Richer. Perfect. Let's check. Older. More serious, colder, more beautiful, richer. Okay, let's continue. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we completed the exercises of section three. We only are missing section four. Okay, everyone should be on section three already. Completed and all good to go. Yes? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, remember that I'm doing this because I want you to be completing the exercises on the platform. If you're not doing it, this, this is no tiene sentido. It doesn't make sense that I keep on doing it, okay? Okay, let's go to another conversational activity. As you know, this module is a lot of conversational activities and you have to speak a lot. So we have a question here. So I'm gonna ask a participant to help me read the first question. Or say, ask, can you read it, please? Is there a quality department in your workplace? Excellent. Thank you, Seas. And the second question will be, Clelia, can you help me with the second question? Clelia is not there? Okay. Rafael Martinez. Blanca, you have a question? Yes. Tell me. Do they do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Excellent. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you for your participation. Do they monitor or and evaluate your procedures? So this is a conversational activity you're gonna go and ask an answer. So, is there a quality department in your workplace? In my workplace, yes, there is. Yes, there is. So you can give either two answers. You can say, yes, there is, or you can say the negative, no, there isn't, okay? Like that, in the first one. Yes, there is, no, there isn't. The next one we have, do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Yes. Oh, wait. Yes, they do. Or you can say no, they don't. When you finish with that, we are going to answer this question. 
what activities does the quality department do? Okay. You're going to make a list of the activities the quality department do in your workplace. Okay. The people in charge of quality in your workplace. So first we're going to ask and answer the first two questions and then we're going to make a list of the activities that the quality department do. Do you understand the activity? Yes. Yes. You sure? Yes. No questions? Okay. Okay. If you don't have questions, then we're going to go. The first conversation, then make a list. Let's see. Let me see. Seal breaker room está en silencio. Nadie está participando. Nadie, nadie ahí está participando. Okay. Nobody's participating. Me llaman para yo deshacer el break room. Johnny, nobody was participating in your room? Yes, there's nobody. Okay. Va a deshacerla entonces. Gracias. And you're going to go to break your room.
Hello, Silvia, what happened? Hello, Miss, perdí conexión. Ok, ¿y en qué sala estaba? Eh, sé que estaba con Johnny, creo, pero no recuerdo el salvo. Oh, yo creo que el grupo de Johnny lo deshice porque nadie estaba participando. <ríe> Así que le voy a mandar al number two, ok? Ok.
Cool. In review control scope is uh, the, the code here. Um, maybe it's a short um, Okay, Julio. Hey, the um, last okay. one, I will change it with gold measurement ah. instead of measure goals, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Me measure goals. Measure goals. Measure goals. Hello, uh, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, let's see, I want to see something. Can you see something Tienes que ver eso, niño. We've a key performing indicator. Yes. Ah, ya le digo, espera, me dio pudiera. Mayra, Mayra lo compartió. Okay, ahí está. With the attention. Mayra, ilustre, no hay. Okay. In my company, we have the quality control department. Every day, we have a previous meeting in the workplace. Mm -hmm. uh, after the VPN meeting or previous meeting, Every um, quality control uh, inspector or supervisor check the staff. For example, checks the color nails, cut nails, uh, check the the clean the shoes, um, check the cut hair, hair cut. Sorry. Oh! <sighs> 